everybody. Uh, we're going to talk about frozen propane today. Um, got pretty cold this last week. We were down to around negative 38 or so, yeah. right? And um, what happened is our propane tank ended up freezing on us. And propane's supposed to be good until something like 42 below or 43 below. Um, so we're going to go over a few things that we've learned. Um, since we started getting sub-zero temperatures, our tank has frozen a few times and there's a few different things we've had to do to um, stop it from freezing. So there's basically three really important things you want to make sure you have. Um, one, elevate your tank so that your propane line going into the house is basically a straight shot right into the house. Um, what you don't want is any of that line to be outside in the elements uh, when it doesn't have to be. So um, definitely worth your effort to raise your tank so that way you're coming off your regulator and you're going right inside your warm house. Um, another one is making sure you're using a two-stage regulator. Uh, what happens is this liquid propane turns into a gas, the regulator drops the pressure um, and when it drops your pressure down to, to your operating pressure, it basically releases a little bit of moisture that's trapped in there. And when you have a single stage regulator, it has to, to drop that pressure all at one time, rather than a dual where it'll drop it part of the way and then the second stage will drop it to your operating uh, pressure. So, um, with the two stage, you'll have two separate um, vent holes that moisture can escape from, rather than just having that single one where, you know, it's it's not much, that much bigger than a needle. It's it's really easy to freeze. So, uh, elevate your tank, keep your line inside your house, use a two stage regulator, and that pretty much got us to the negative 20s, and and our water heater would work just fine, didn't have any problems. Um, we thought our whole problem was solved, but what we've learned since we've seen 38 below now is that uh, it still freezes. So what we're going to do next, and it's about the only other thing we can think of, is we're going to build a little insulated cover around this. We have some of that extra wood from the summer and a little bit of extra insulation. So we're just going to build a small little cover that we can, you know, a three-sided deal where we can push it right up against the house. It'll pull a little bit of heat from this, uh, this house wall, and then any heat coming up from the earth uh, will also get trapped in there. So propane's supposed to freeze around 42 or 43 below. We weren't that far off of it, but uh, there's still another 5 degrees that we could be working with. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If, if you're looking for information on, on freezing propane tanks, those are the real important things to know. Make sure your line's inside as much as possible, get a two-stage regulator, and um, point those vent holes down. Uh, <clears throat> even though it seems like your regulator is supposed to be, you know, vertical, standing like this, uh, ours still froze and early. So just by turning it so that those holes are pointed as down as possible, um, that got us another 20 degrees or so. So anyways, um, we're going to get that built and, and we'll try and take a little footage of that and it's warm this week it's in the 15 degrees above zero so yeah i think we're above zero all week so um perfect time to do a few of these projects we got some wood cut up yesterday and uh, we'll get this taken care of today um, but when the temperature drops back down again um, we'll kind of come back to this and, and let you know whether it worked or not so anyways um Anything else going on? Just enjoying our warm weather out here today. So yeah, I think it was 20 degrees yesterday. We went from negative, you know, 38, negative 40, all the way up to 20 degrees in two days. Mm -hmm. So it's feeling good to be outside and not freezing. Yeah, for sure. So perfect cool. time to get some things done. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah, basically.
come over with the other one. Battery's about to die. I'll make it quick. Okay, so we got that all finished up. Um, we're thinking this is going to keep it quite a bit warmer. Uh, we just did a rough 2x6 frame plywood on the outside. Some leftover insulation we had crammed in between. And um, yeah, we're just going to set this right over the tank. Try and trap in as much heat as we can. And uh, hopefully that solves the problem. So. Um, if anybody watching happens to live up here or sub-zero temperatures and has run across the same thing, uh, let us know what you did to fix it because we're hoping on this, but you never know. So if the problems crossed your path, uh, we're curious how you guys solved it. So anyways, that's all we got for now, and um, we'll get this put together and see you next time. Oh, you think I'm scared? <laughs>